Good morning, gentlemen. Title today, Air of a Circle, 8th of June, 2020. I hope you've got the work uh, for in the email. You'll find that you've got uh, a starter there. I hope you've done all right with that. Send me some uh, images of what you've done. You'll see here I'm drawing a circle, and uh, I've put the radius on there, and I'm writing down that the area of a circle is given by this formula here, which is pi r squared. Now, I hope you discovered the other day that pi is 3.1415. It goes on and on forever. It's, the, it's related to the radius of a circle and how many times it goes into the circumference. Um, but we need to remember that to find the area, it's pi times the radius squared. But we must remember uh, to square the radius first. And you see I put the skull and crossbones. I'd like you to write that into your book to remember bob mass. And bob mass means we must do the squaring before we times by pi. Okay, so we're going to do a little example. But remember, square rates first. You might like to pause this now and just quickly write this into your book, please. So pause it now. Okay, welcome back. This is a question. So we've got a circle here, and the uh, radius is 10 centimetres. And the question says, what is the area? Well, remember that the formula was area equals pi r squared. And every time you do an exam question, this is what they want to do. Now, you know I'm an examiner for the exam board, and this is what we do. We, we look to see, do you know what the uh, way the method is done? And you'll see here I've written down that the radius is 10. Sometimes you're given the diameter and you have to half it to get the radius. I've written the area equals pi times 10 squared. Remember, bod mass or bib mass, we do the 10 squared first, which is 100. So when I come to do my final working, um, I've got to do area equals pi times 100, which gives me, I'll do use a calculator, and it gives me 314.15 and so on. It goes on and on forever. You'll find that on your calculator. See, I do the dots like that, and then I round it to three significant figures, which gives me 314. And don't forget the units, centimetres squared.